Hi. I, I heard you're well enough to head out today. I, I thought I'd come say goodbye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you are actually leaving. <laughs> Oh, I I've been around. I just, um, I was, I had some, I was doing things. Look, um, I, I need to talk to you. I'd like to talk to you. Could I talk to you? Thank you. Wow. I thought so much about what I would say and what I wanted to ask and what I wanted to know, and now I have no idea how to begin. I don't know if I ever figured out how I would begin. How could I think about all this and not figure out where I wanted to be? Uh, okay, well... I, I suppose the first thing I need to ask is... Are you a wolf? Are, are you one of the wolfen people? I, I'm sorry, that was a crazy question. It was a silly question. It was, Hetty was messing with me and I fell hook, line, and sinker like a, and now the rest of everything that I was gonna ask is really a moot point because it doesn't matter if there's no, oh, oh. Okay. Um, in that case, first things first, I I'm sorry for the way I behaved and the way I acted. It was... It was bigoted of me, and it was ignorant, and... No, it... No, I, I don't actually think that all wolves are monsters out to get us, obviously. Or maybe that's not obvious, because having befriended a wolf is not the same thing as not being a bigot. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. But also that, that leads me to other questions. Why, why were you on that path? Why are you looking for work in a human village? Yeah, yeah, you told me that you left your home. You, well, I suppose it's your pack that you left, your territory. Right. Well, you left that because everyone you knew was <laughs> related to you and you were looking for a mate. All wolves do that? You never, like, mate within your pack? Oh, a pack is family. I'm so sorry. I... I am so sorry. Yeah, no, I don't mean to imply that you were- No, 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 I, I just- I, I don't under- I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I thought- I didn't think that packs were always family. That they were just a family group. I didn't know that that was your word for family. I'm so sorry. Okay. Huh. Well, that- that explains why everyone leaves their pack in order to find a mate. <laughs> Um, so, uh, but why a human village? <laughs> Do you have, like, some weird thing for humans, or... <laughs> well, no, I suppose it wouldn't be weird. We do kind of look alike, don't we? Um, most of the time. <laughs> Unless... Do you do that whole shifting into a full moon thing? 
Hetty told me that some people are able to control it to one extent or another, depending on how diluted their bloodline is. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so you still... Oh. That sounds painful. Every month. I'm so sorry. Well, yeah. I, I guess you get used to it if it's every month. Wait. That wolf that came by my campfire that night. Was that... You rotten... <gasps> And then you teased me about smelling like dog. I thought I smell. What do you mean I smell like dog? I don't smell like... <laughs> do I? A little bit wolfish. So... So you knew all along. You knew before I did that I was... So tell me something. Does everyone with a... Strong sense of smell, gonna be able to tell? Huh. So that guy I met along the path when I was a kid... He had to have known. Oh no, it doesn't change anything, it just... I don't know, it adds another piece to the puzzle. It explains why he was so nice to just some random kid on the road. Hey, tell me something. Does that mean that you can also tell... Uh, the rest of my heritage? Yeah, that's... that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so... That clears a lot up for me. Thank you. But... Back to you. You, um... Were looking for... A mate. And... Uh, I suppose a new territory then, huh? Don't... Packs each have their own territory? Oh! Yeah, I, I can see that. When things are balanced, it's fine, but give a few seasons where wolf population is growing, or when human cities grow, and suddenly you guys are battling for less land between more people. I can see why you would start expanding out toward human villages. I mean, that hasn't worked out to be such a bad thing for me my grandfather hadn't done it, then I wouldn't be here. But I... Well... I, um... Hmm. I suppose those are all the questions I had. Thank you. Thank you for filling me in. Thank you for clarifying. I... I didn't know anything about my, um, uh, wolf and heritage before. Uh, uh, obviously. <laughs> my parents never told me. It seems once they realized that I wouldn't be affected by it, they decided that I didn't need to know about it. <laughs> How's that for irony? Spending your life being a bigot against... <sighs> well... Your own father. Well, yeah, <laughs> against me as well, but... My father. God, when I think about the things I said, the wolves are our enemy, blah, 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 blah. Huh? 
Oh. Well, well. Yeah, I suppose you're you're right. They they would still kill any of us if we got into their territory. <laughs> but is that the same as being an enemy? Having people protect their own borders? <laughs> Having people protect their own assets and food source? I, I don't think that rises to that level. It seems to me that we could just respect each other and not have to vilify each other. I joined in on the vilification, and, and that's where I was a bigot. Uh, along with assuming that any wolf... No. No, you're right. I guess I didn't just assume that any wolf was a bad guy. I trusted the wolf I met when I was a child. And I... did trust you soon enough when you came to my campfire, so... <sighs> I knew what you were then. And I knew you weren't there to hurt me. But I was insulting, so... thank you for not taking offense to my offensive words. So, um... You're just about ready, then, huh? Where are you gonna go? Oh, are you? You're, you're, st you're staying in town? Yes, yes, yes. They, they've needed a hunter and a trapper for a long time. <laughs> it's how my father supported us. Oh, gosh. I just realized why that would be right up his wheelhouse. <sighs> and yours. Well, um, good. I'm glad you found a, a situation, a, a place where you could stay and do well and, you know, maybe find that mate that you were looking for. Oh. Oh, 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 you, you did. Um, uh, of course you did. Of course, because... You are uh, an, an adequately attractive young man and strong, and you uh, are personable, and so of course you would find a, a mate so incredibly quickly when you've only just arrived here, and I was here the entire time except for like the past week and a half, so uh, of course you could m move that quickly. Uh, I'm gonna go. You go have fun, and good luck, and God bless, and I will... Huh? No, uh, no, really, I have to go. I'm... You know what, whoever she is, I'm sure she's lovely. You don't have to tell me about her, okay? I'm really late. I'm... Uh. Go ahead. Jabberjaws. Tell me about her. Since you just can't seem to hold back your joy, let me know. What is she like? Okay. Sure. Sounds lovely. Charming, even. Uh, yeah, well, I think you're probably better off with somebody who has a little bit of a temper who'll put you in your place. Oh, please. A traumatic childhood. We've all had traumatic childhoods. Good at checkers. Why do I care if she's good at checkers? Dude, is this the best you've got to say about her? Well, that's better, at least. You should think that the girl you choose for a mate is pretty and funny and smart. If you don't think that much about her, you shouldn't be with her at all. Good to Hetty. Who's... 
It's someone Hetty's close to? I, I don't... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are... At the risk of, of making an idiot of myself, and actually I'm, I'm, I'm definitely making an idiot of myself by asking this either way. Uh, are, are you talking about me? Okay, all right. Good to know. Good, good to know. That's that's good to know. What do I think? Uh, I think. Uh, I I mean. I suppose. I, yes. I I suppose. Uh, well, I already said that you are a perfectly adequate looking and charming young man and you you kiss well so there's there's that and you have um a good career ahead of you and and you're funny and when I get frustrated with you, you, you laugh at me a little bit. And, and you never seem to mind when I'm gruff with you. And, and, and you're kind when I'm vulnerable with you. And I've grown so accustomed to having you here so quickly. But I was so upset at the idea of you leaving. And I'm so glad you didn't choose somebody else for another mate. <laughs> I would have been very jealous. I was very jealous. <laughs> yes. Yes, you may kiss me again very, very well. <laughs> I would absolutely like to go out with you on a proper date. Well, isn't this a lovely development? Hetty! Privacy, Hetty! Mind you that you're in my house asking for privacy. I. J the walls are very thin, dear. I. I uh, <sighs> Would you like to go back to my place? It's, uh. just back up the road that we met on. About a day and a half trip by foot. You can hop on to pedal if your foot starts to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, well, let's get your things. <laughs> Goodbye, Dreamy. Goodbye, Dreamy's young man. He's not my... Oh. Wait. I guess you are then, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey there, guys. Once again, thank you all for listening. I've had so much fun with this story, and I'm so glad that you guys love Hetty so much, because I want to be Hetty when I grow up. <laughs> I do enjoy Hetty. I'd like to take a moment to thank my wonderful patrons, 
Art Low, Vicious Rowan, Jules, Solitary Surreal, Pierce the Heavens, A Red Bow, Jacketeer, Adrian Hassinger, Diem Bellamy, Tomberry Shuffle, Christian Cleopatra, Jack H., and Marius Darkwolf. You guys have been wonderful to me. You've been so much fun to hang out with in my Discord server, and it has been so much fun getting to know you better. Having said that, I would like to thank everyone who is here listening. Thank you for your likes, thank you for your comments, thank you for your shares, and thank you for your subscriptions, and thank you for your super thanks. You guys are all so wonderful. So, be as good to yourselves as you are to me. Take care. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.